Hi there, this is a boring video about how I failed to migrate my 2FA setup from my iPhone 7 Plus to my new iPhone 10. Maybe it will serve as a warning or help to you guys, but yeah, I really hate Google Authenticator and I really don't understand why Apple's encrypt uh, backup and rest restore process doesn't address this. So here goes. Initially, I thought the problem was mm, I can't get my data below 64 gigabytes. You see this problem here? Um, I've just deleted like every app I can possibly do. And iPhotos is still taking the majority of the space, which means I can't um, back up my, this phone's secrets. Heavens knows why it can't do a transfer of my secrets without using iTunes. But I can't um, basically uh, restore an, a 70, 80 gigabyte image on my new iPhone 10. So that's where I am today. And to say I'm frustrated is an understatement. <sighs> I just wanted to add that I'm just swearing off Google Authenticator because they're, they're Google's own docs and what have you that. Google's own search engine doesn't answer simple questions like how to back up Google Authenticator. The first link basically suggests that I uh, log into Google and, and redo the, uh, the QR code uh, thing. I mean, that makes, that makes sense if you have one account. But if you have 20, it makes no sense. I can't go to uh, DigitalOcean, Linode, AWS. I'll be, I'll be here for hours um, doing the migration. I'm so frustrated. I am so frustrated. It's unbelievable. I hate you, Google. I mean, is there any other 2FA store that does a sane sort of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, backup? I'd love to know. Really, I'd love to know. In, uh, image capture, waiting for it to sort of seek these photos. My best chance, I think, is to, to basically download the photos to my MacBook Pro. If I didn't have a MacBook Pro, I could. I don't think I could ever. I mean, if you don't have iTunes, you can't do this migration, which is insane. And I'm waiting for a while now. Oh God, I'm pretty sure my photos are already backed up to iCloud. I'm actually just not sure. Um, oh, it didn't get my Face ID there. But when I've restored it here, I can tell you that. I, uh, photos is only taking one gigabyte here. It's taking 47 on my iPhone 7 Plus. It's taking one gigabyte on my phone. I mean, I, I don't mind the, the lower space of the iPhone 10 because the internet here in Singapore is pretty decent. But I do mind that I, I can't easily reduce the photos here from the app. Reduce the photos. Hopefully I can make a restore, which is less than 64 gigabytes, and then uh, a backup, and then I can restore to my phone. <laughs> This is nuts. Finally, I'm able to start importing and I got delete after import. I, I actually don't know how this is going to play with the uh, with photos, but hopefully I can delete the uh, photos on my iPhone 7 Plus, free up some space and not um, actually get them deleted from photos. I'm just taking a leap of faith here. Hopefully this will work. Hey guys, so I'm stuck. I, I really can't work out how to get photos down from 47 gigabytes down to, I don't know, the one gigabyte that my iPhone 10 has. So I can't make the, uh, the backup smaller than 64 gigabyte. I tried um, image capture and, oops, and it failed. I uh, got this error, which I googled. I'm not too sure what to make out of it. The first hit suggests that I need to update, but I'm running the very latest. Uh, Hi Sierra, so there's no excuse. Um, and then, even though delete when import is checked, when I when I when I click import, it just seems to be still here. So, please, guys, uh, help me out here. Uh, I can't use my iPhone 10 because <laughs> I can't work out how to make uh, photos take up less space on my on my iPhone 7.
So, despite getting my uh, iPhone 7 Plus backup below 64 gigabytes by I fusing and the uh, mounting it on my on my MacBook, and then um, and then copying off the 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 photos and as far as I can tell, I it didn't disrupt photos at all. I still have everything there. Um, but yeah, once I got it down below 64 gigabytes, and then I backed it up, being careful to encrypt iPhone backup and restore that backup to the iPhone 10. I still just don't have it. I just don't have my 2FA, my, my 20 odd accounts, um, which is not brought over. So I don't, un I swear the last time I upgraded my, my, uh, my iPhone, I, I did just this and I had all my 2FA's. So now I'm faced with um, migrating these 2FA's uh, one by one. Um, but as as someone pointed out, uh, as Martin pointed out on Twitter, is that if I spent as much time as I've been trying to back up and restore, instead of just using something like Authy um, and doing it one by one, then uh, it would have been I would have wasted so much time. I've basically blown a, a weekend's worth of productive time. I did want to say that I like this brew install dash dash head feature um, because what I, the problem is um, is that lib I move I I whatever lib something device um, was out of date on on Arch Linux because there wasn't a release but the brew had this nice switch where you can where you can basically um, install when you maintain it was just too too lazy to make a release so yeah Mac OS uh, well brew is nice but it's not nice having to migrate my 2FA manually so I hope you found this um, video mildly entertaining so who do I blame with this fiasco? I, I I lumped the blame towards Google Authenticator for not having any clear instructions, and and Apple, why can't this transition of of secrets via this encrypt iPhone back at the very least, which is ridiculous, work? Tell me why doesn't it work? Thank you, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.